Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Not a huge surprise, as just hours before the scheduled start of their divorce trial, attorneys for Nevada Governor Jim Gibbons and his estranged wife Dawn announced a settlement Monday morning. It was first posted on the RJ's online breaking news section. But you can catch all the details, including who gets the couple's 1914 and 1915 Model T Fords, in print and online Tuesday. Now, these photos from the Reno Gazette Journal show Dawn Gibbons talking with her lawyer, Cal Dunlap, and the governor as he was being asked by a judge if he thought the settlement agreement was fair. Well, now that December 25th, 2009 is but another Christmas past, Las Vegas turns its eye to one of the biggest parties of the year, New Year's Eve. We want you to know you can count on the RJ for complete coverage, including a map of the strip area showing which freeway exit's going to be closed Thursday evening, which hotels are part of the return of rooftop fireworks displays, and who's headlining the big concerts and nightclub shows to welcome 2010. And it's all online, too, at lvrj.com slash nye09. Speaking of the Las Vegas party scene, Vegasland columnist Doug Elfman wrote Monday about how Tiger Woods seems to still be the talk of the town. What is in store for Doug's Tuesday column? Why don't we ask him? Hey, Doug, what's coming up in your Tuesday column? I have an interview with Maroon 5. They play New Year's Eve in Vegas, and they're such big rock stars, they don't even remember if they've played in uh, Las Vegas for New Year's Eve before. They have. Uh, also in the column, I've got a nice little New Year's Eve uh, Irish toast collection from uh, local Irish songwriter, which includes this. There are good ships and wood ships, and ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships, so here's to you and me. Happy New Year. See you in Vegas land. Thank you, sir. All of Doug's columns and blogs are in one easy-to-find spot online, lvrj.com slash elfman. As the city of Las Vegas considers cutting pay and possibly even jobs, city firefighters are fighting back. In today's tough economic times, the city of Las Vegas is faced with cutting millions of dollars from an already tight budget. If our mayor and city council follow the advice of the city manager, critical staffing levels will be cut. Firefighters Union Local 1285 has put up a website critical of proposed reductions and the Review Journal is following them as well as what the city plans to do. After the Nevada Supreme Court ruled last week that the judge in the O.J. Simpson trial should not have kept juror questionnaires out of the public eye, the Review Journal, which was one of the organizations opposing Judge Jackie Glass's decision, is working now to find those questionnaires and make them public. We'll keep you posted. Your weather? Boy, it looks like just a lot of clouds marking the last few days of 2009, but no rains in the forecast. National Weather Service has highs in the low 50s, a degree or two below normal most of the week, with lows generally in the mid-30s. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot, ReviewJournal.com. <laughs>